Create online trend log and trend view definition object. If you wonder why the creation of an online trend and trend view definition object were put together in one chapter, the answer is simple because both are created with the same process. At the beginning, there are two different start scenarios to create the trend objects either via the application view or via the related items of the data point. By selecting the trends node or one of the subfolder nodes and clicking on add trend, we open a new and empty trend view in edit mode. Next, we need to add a data point by clicking on the appropriate function. In the Select Data Point dialog box, we now navigate to and choose the desired data points that is or are necessary for online trending. We cancel and stop here and show the second, rather more elegant way. As a rule, the data point whose value is to be recorded is known in advance and exploit the related items. We select the room air temperature of the ventilation system and select the supply air temperature at the same time. We find the same function add via the related items and open the trend view. We fully focus on this theme and start the trend view in the primary pane. The advantage of this workflow is that the recording starts right away with the desired data points. In the legend we see the two data points with the corresponding color selected by the system for recording. Since this trend view is not yet named and saved, the name multi-selection is listed, which is basically the last action before we started the trend. We have already configured the first step of trending, the so-called live online trending, without needing to store and create trend objects. In live online trending, the data is stored in a ring buffer for 24 hours. After that, the oldest samples are replaced with the newest ones. Nevertheless, Flex Client allows you to customize the live online trend view. We switch to edit mode and in the series tab there are several options to make changes. For the room temperature line, we can easily customize the color, width, dash type, and marker under style. Smoothing is mainly used to optimize systems where data is acquired via polling, for example, Modbus or OPC integrations. For BACnet integrations we recommend using the appropriate BACnet trend log objects provided by the automation stations. The default setting of the Y-axis is left, which we simply adjust to the right for room temperature for demo purposes. This adjusts the legend and also the display of the chart. Via the ellipsis we have further possibilities to retrieve detailed data point information. To change the name of the data point, should there be the need to change the name. Any change here will only affect the trend view. Further, we can move this record to a new chart, which we execute and as a result the view is displayed with two charts. The chart change can be undone, which we also do. Further we could select another property for the recording of the data point. The last two features refer to the property display in the chart where the mouse cursor points. In the options, the scaling of the chart can be changed from automatic to manual. And for this trend view, the default time period can be adjusted to a different time range, which we change into an hour. Until now we are still in live online trending with the ring buffer of one day because we have not saved yet. We define a trend name, AHU10, room and supply air temperature and save the trend view definition under a suitable folder. With this we have saved the trend view definition, the two data points, and two online trend objects. In the application view the two new online objects are visible in the online log objects subfolder. We open and can see that the time range is a day, as specified by the basic settings.
In the subfolder trend view definitions and ventilation and air conditioning we can see the newly created definition. We also open this and see that the time range is 1 hour, as defined by us, and the chart layout matches our settings. Returning to ventilation, we further see that in the related items of both data points, both the new online trend object and the trend view definition are present. Before we move on to the next topic, we would like to emphasize again that the online trend is not suitable for long-term, secure data recording, but for real-time visualization for analysis or diagnostic purposes. Otherwise, unnecessary network traffic can occur and overloading the system with too many online trends can lead to noticeable performance problems with the server in the database.